Greetings, Battalion 2. It's already May 2023. Nice, beautiful weather, warming up. Hope you can get acclimated to the heat before the summer gets here. Speaking of turning up the heat, let's check out this month's video. shorter already but I don't believe this is one of the uh, best fire departments I think this is the best fire department best fire Also very thrilled to know that uh, John Stirrup is here with us today, uh, and I'd like to step aside for a second and, and give him an opportunity to to say some folks say hello to some folks he got to meet. I'm here primarily to say thank you to the to the men and women of the Emergency Medical uh, Services Division of the Fire and Rescue, and also the sheriff's deputies. And there were so many others I know that helped and participated, and uh, essentially saved my life. So it is my sincere thanks to all of you. And I just want to uh, emphasize to the citizens of the county how fortunate we are to have the level of professionalism that's standing in front of me and then throughout the county protecting our citizens. Boy, it's always great to hear a public official uh, be able to give you thanks for your service, right? It's even more special when you provided that service directly to them and brought them back to life. So kudos to the folks involved in that call. I know it was a bit of a chaotic moment that evening and shortly after we ran an active violence, active shooter thing at uh, uh, never a dull moment in the 2nd Battalion, but um, you guys are all doing fantastic work. As uh, Mr. Stirrup said, we provide great services to the community and I, I, all I can do is encourage you to keep doing it. A couple of reminders before we get to our video spoof that I'm sure you all are going to enjoy. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that one this time, uh, but uh, first, get those reports done, ESO, AOS, got to get them done, the lists are out, make sure you're uh, getting with your officer, putting tickets in if you need to, but for the most part, you should be able to navigate that and get those done uh, before the deadline here in a few weeks. Another reminder, we have two major Blackboard trainings that are due uh, as far as junior member training and HIPAA compliance stuff. Make sure you get those done. The junior member training does take a little bit longer than in the past. Uh, you have to get through all the slides and um, all the portions of it and same with the HIPAA train. I think the HIPAA train is very similar to the one from last year. I do want to give a thank you to Lieutenant Feliciano for putting together the extrication patient care drill that we did for battalion training that was very valuable along with Lieutenant o Omar Mendez at Station 26 who 
I'll put together the search uh, nine tire drill. We used uh, hose hose rolls, but uh, that was valuable training. You know, getting used to the senses and, and trying to um, use all the things you have besides your sight to find your way around. Uh, the other training we did, you know, as far as um, the bariatric stretcher training, you know, we had a lot of fun getting familiar with that piece of equipment. Hopefully, we don't have to use it that often, but it certainly can come in handy and, and carry a lot of weight if we need it. And finally, I want to thank everyone for getting uh, really, you know, coming together quickly and getting their CPR certifications done. Um, that was a big ask of training to switch on a certification year to a different process, but we were able to get that done fairly quickly, and, and I, I can't commend you all enough for the work you do, so good job. Um, I am serious about getting acclimated to the heat, so make sure you are getting out and, and training and PTing on a regular basis. My next station challenge um, coming up is going to feature a, sort of a combat challenge, similar to what we did in safety stand down a couple of years ago, and we're going to track our recovery, and the best recovery times are going to win that challenge. I'll be uh, sending more information about that. Um, and the other thing too is, is make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids and getting as much rest as you can. I know it's difficult on shift work to get rest. In fact, I think the last couple of tours I haven't gotten much myself. But I still love shift work. So without further ado, here is our movie parody of the month. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next update. I love shift work and I don't care who knows it. Shift work, even the 56 hour schedule. I love desk. I love lamp. Corey, are you just looking at things and saying you love them? I love lamp. Anyway, gee, Chief, tell us what it's like to love the 56 hour schedule. It's really quite simple. It's kind of like. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight, gonna grab some afternoon delight. My motto's always been, when it's right, it's right. Why wait until the middle of a cold, dark night? When everything's a little clearer in the light of day. And we know the night is always gonna be here anyway. Thinking of you's working up my appetite Looking forward to a little afternoon delight Rubbing sticks and stones together make a sparks ignite And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting Sky rockets in flight Woo! Afternoon delight Whoop. You guys have it, I think huh. Afternoon delight I don't know, Chief. That sounds kind of crazy. Sounds like you got mental problems, Chief. Yeah, mental problems, Chief. Yeah, mental problems. Chief. Afternoon delight. I'm gonna make a phone call here. Freshen this up. Engine 502, not on the scene. Got heavy smoke in the sky. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delight.